Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Um, I'm dressed really nice, I'm aware of this. Well, for the purposes of this video I figured it might be a good idea. It might be kind of important to do so. Normally I don't dress like this unless I'm, like, I'm acting out the character Francis. Uh, you know, that really nerdy character who says a lot of really stupid stuff. But, today's video is a little bit more of an announcement than anything else. Something that I've been holding back for a while. And what might that be? Well, there's a project that I've been working on uh, alongside with Aaron. Uh, and slowly but surely a couple other individuals as well. I haven't discussed much about this, but I figured, you know what, might as well talk about it now, at least kind of get out there what's going on. Because it actually help, it allows me to talk about something that I've been wanting to discuss, to discuss for a while anyway. And that is the different ages, more or less, the eras, um, of comic books. For those who don't know what I mean by that, I mean the Golden Era, Silver Era, and Bronze Era of comics. Now many of you may not even know what that is, either because you've never read a comic book before, you don't know much about comics, or you just don't care. Well, I'm about to explain it whether you care or not. <laughs> so the golden era of comics is kind of back when comic books first started. Um, anything went, you could do whatever the heck you wanted, you could say whatever you wanted, show whatever you wanted, no one cared. The purpose of him originally was more to get people's minds off of the events of the Great Depression. Uh, and it more or less worked. But there were a lot of things that a lot of people were very uncomfortable with. So came along the Silver Age, or Silver Era, again, up to you which word to choose, where there were specific, specific restrictions and guidelines to what was going to be showcased and allowed to be put into said comics. Well. This lasted quite some time, although things started to feel a little bit bland and dry because of it. So came along the Bronze Age, where technically these restrictions still existed, and still exist, but no one cares. No one cared. So you would go back into like these more violent aspects of it but not so insanely bad as what the Golden Age was showing. This was the Bronze Age, and is the Bronze Age of comics, where we are right now, um, where they created things like the Infinity War, and um, Injustice, stuff like that matches up to the Bronze Age. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, anybody who knows anything about the internet might recognize what I'm describing pretty well. And that right there, my friends, is what this project that has been going on for a while is aiming to achieve. The Bronze Age of the Internet. Now, to kind of compare, what was the Golden Age? Well, everyone loves the Golden Age. They loved the Golden Age. It was the part of the Internet, little history for this part too, Internet 1.0, which was more just for businesses. It was that, if anybody has seen The Matrix, that little green thing that you see all the time in The Matrix, it's referring to what you would see on a computer when the data is being registered on Internet 1.0. What no one considers the internet, but what was actually the internet at that point in time. Until Internet 2.0 or the World Wide Web came out, the thing that everyone considers the internet. 
Believe it or not, the internet was not always like that. And believe it or not, and I'm sure many of you do, the internet wasn't always like what it is right now, with the unnecessary level of restrictions at times. More these necess these restrictions are more to prevent the companies from getting in trouble or whatever. But even then, some of the restrictions that presented on that still were not necessary. But that was the golden age of the internet right there. The early years of YouTube, um, for example, like back in 2005, 2006, up until maybe 2012, 13, I would say was when the golden age started to simmer down into the silver age of the internet. But what changed? The algorithm. The algorithm on several websites. The shutdown of other ones. Or the disassembly of some aspects of other ones. Let's take Newgrounds, for example. Newgrounds is technically still up, yes, but it doesn't function the same way it used to just because, first of all, Adobe Flash is basically dead, and that's what it ran off of. Um, people can still use things like Blender, but it just... Newgrounds doesn't have the same appeal it used to. Blogger. I used to have a Blogspot account on there that was supposed to tell a story, I think, if I recall correctly. I had someone else who would, like, do journalism on there. Um, there bro Blogger was a big thing when uh, we had the golden age of the internet. Silver Age came along, and it's like it just vanished. Once again, that website is technically still there. No one talks about it anymore, though. No one cares for it. It's updated in its terms of its TOS. Um, YouTube's done the same thing. Um, there are several sites I can list out that go on. Newgrounds did, did the same thing. You name it, it's probably done it. And this is where the whole Silver Age kind of started to really roll in and ruin everything on the internet. And what we still have yet to experience is the Bronze Age of the internet. And that, my friends, is what we hope to bring you. Do we... D d d d now, the manner, do we hope to attack all these other websites? Absolutely not. No. I'm always going to be posting on YouTube like I do now. Um... Aaron has his own site, DevSpace Technologies, that I haven't talked much on, but I have always supported. I've been there with him looking over it since before day one. Before he and his current crew on that team even had banded together. When the It was just an idea. I was there for it. I remember it very vividly, him trying to figure out a name for the company. But... It's there. It's the Bronze Age version of what his company is. The only problem is we haven't seen the Bronze Age yet. Where is it? That's what I'm bringing on myself. If you guys like being creative, if you guys feel restricted on that creativeness from whatever website is out there, that's the gift that I'm trying to give you. Now this website that I'm referring to is going is called and is going to be called Neon Spice. Um, it's still in early development. There are still a lot of factors that have to go into it. There's the, the website is still it, it's technically accessible. You can technically go look at it if you want. And if you so desire um, I'll have a link in the description below for the site itself, but bear in mind once again, it's still in its very early stages of development. We made it public, but we still have a lot of work to do with it. We still have to create our own personal terms of service, which is not going to act in the same way as these other ones. It's still going to ask for respectfulness and all those kind of, you know, the original terms of service for back in the golden age. But the ultimate goal of this site is to bring back that charm and that love for the internet that is just not there anymore. 
because of all these different restrictivenesses that honestly did not need to happen. I mean, some of them did, but not to the degree that they have. This is something that uh, still needs to be analyzed. Um, Aaron and I kind of cumulatively are CEOs of this said company. Um, he would be the CTO. I help him technologically when I can. I am the CEO, meaning I have to organize everything. Um, I'm actually looking to find some marketers at the moment to help out with it. But there, this website still has a long ways to go. But the ultimate purpose of this website is to give a gift to many, many of you out there who I know for a fact want the Golden Age back. We can't bring the Golden Age back, unfortunately. But we can do you one better. We can bring you the Bronze Age of the Internet. Obviously, we can't change the Internet itself. And there are some restrictions like copyright and all that kind of stuff that we have to be careful about. But that doesn't particularly mean we can't work with it. Something that those who brought on the Silver Age had failed to do. So, that's what's been going on. Um, there's still a lot of work to get done. We still have a long ways to go. But if any of you have interest in uh, the idea that was presented here, please let us know in the comments below. Give us your ideas, what you think about the whole thing. And hey, if it gets if this video gets enough support and enough um, shares, likes, uh, it, 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 then Neon Spice might actually start its own YouTube channel as well. Uh, it would be hosted by Aaron and I, more often me than him, just because he's not, he's kind of camera shy to a fault, <laughs> which, it's fine, it makes sense, I'm used to it, he's not, but if this video gets enough traction, enough likes, if it brings in enough um, a a attraction for people who want to see this, sh enough sharing out, enough likes, all that kind of stuff, then yeah, um, we would love to hear your guys' opinions on what you would like to see on this project. Um, like I said, the website is called Neon Spice, but I'm probably going to give it a code name for the time being. Um, I'm going to have to consult Aaron to see what he thinks the code name for it should be at the time, but yeah, this is kind of what's going on. There's still a lot of business to do, a lot of working to go with it, but if you want to check out to see where it is at the moment, click the link in the description and, I don't know, give your thoughts. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in this video, guys. Um, I've been hiding this for a long time, and I figured, you know what, I, I'm the, I, I kind of came up with the idea originally, admittedly. Um, I shared the credibility with Aaron because he's the one who technically, what you see, that, that link down there, what you see on the outcome of that is mostly his work, is mostly the work of his company, DevSpace. Um, so I, I, I'm going to give him credibility. Um, the only reason that's there in the first place either way around is because he agreed that the idea is a good idea. And we got a lot of traction from people who wanted to see what I, like I said, the Bronze Age of the Internet. Now obviously you can't change the Internet the way the Internet physically works. That doesn't particularly mean you can't change how businesses perceive its presentation, which is what we're aiming for. Like I said, I'm not going to go any further detail than that. I'll keep you guys posted on this, though, if you're interested. Um, once again, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you like the idea, and hope you're willing to be supportive of it. Um, I'll make a follow-up video in the near future. See where we are. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all later. Bye for now.